Good morning. It is quite chilly this morning. I wish I bought gloves. So I've got a few things I need to... Uh, the Suzuki. Uh, someone's rolled it. They're fine. They rolled it in the laneway. This is the laneway. Notice how it's flat. Yeah, so the Suzuki's out of commission. It's kind of... The, the windshield's the windshield's fucked. It's kind of leaning to one side. It tipped over onto its side. Very annoying. But that's pretty much the news. I'm not going to talk a heap at the start of the vlog because I find that I do that every vlog and people click off. So we'll get straight into the action. Slug, are you enjoying the cold? Just as I was coming up the lane, I saw there was a U down over here somewhere and there were crows slash ravens around it. Oh, we're too late. I think we might be too late. We are not. We are not. I saw you. I see you. I've got you, love. Up your hop. Come on. Trog in. Trog in. Come on. Oh, my hand cracked. That hurt. <laughs> oh, that was lucky. Lucky I looked out of the window at the right time. I was just coming up over there. Saw the crows around her. The crows gave themselves away that time. We'll check the rest of the paddock while we're in here and then move on. I always check in these trees every morning. Lambs, when they're abandoned or left behind, or when they're lost in the supermarket, like to come and sit near big objects, trees, rocks, stumps, logs. And you'll see them sitting at the bases of trees, like, you know, in a groove in that stump. See how that stump's got dips around it? There's a U just over this. It's walking funny. What are you doing? Oh, we got a lamb coming. Is it presenting correctly? I think it is. We'll leave her. We'll come back and see what she's, how she's progressing. But I think she's okay. She looks fine. I don't like to intervene unless I have to. You have problems because when they lamb, especially twins, she looks like she's carrying twins. They birth one, clean it off, get it up. By the time it's up and sucking, she's ready to go with the next one. Whereas if you're there, you have to kind of pull both one and two after each other and then she's too many and then you end up with a lower chance of both surviving and everything. So, we're gonna move on. We're just having a look around prime lines to see if how they're looking. Uh, by the looks of it, a lot of them have started lambing. There's a lot of lambs out now. New one there. Another one there. I saw the ewe with the adopted lamb yesterday. She still has it. She's a great mum. There's a lamb there. The mum's behind me somewhere. Uh, they think I'm feeding them. They'll be sorely mistaken when the no food comes out. There's something sketchy happening ahead. I don't know if she's just birthing, so I don't want to approach too quickly. I see she does have a lamb out. Oh, I think she was birthing. <laughs> Darling, you could have picked a less dirty spot to put your lambs into, but that'll do. Okay, so this paddock's lambing quite aggressively now. Can't say aggressive lambing. Then people think the ewes are shooting the lambs out of their lamby snatch at 50k an hour. They're heavily lambing. L lots of lambs are getting put on the ground out of their snatches at the moment. Something looks a bit fishy over here. I suspect we've got a turtle. Turtle alert! Turtle alert! every morning different sheep same conversation moving on looks like we got triplets here mama come back for the other two 
I'm disappointed she didn't have black clams. One's got a black snoot, but that's about it. Last year, she had the chin strap lamb. For those of you who remember, it looks like he was wearing a bike helmet. Slag. Your bed is sliding away from you. Your thoughts. It's you here with those two twins with the, the sick hairdos. Yesterday, um, they're triplets. Yesterday, it looked like she was starting to leave one behind, so I picked her up. She's actually in my shed at the moment. I'm glad she's kept the other two, so I think I've done the right thing there. There's no way she would have kept three alive, but I think I've done the right thing taking one off of her. Prime ones can usually do three. Crossbreds, not so much. We'll just go back, check that you that was lambing, check and see if she's made progress. While we're here, I thought I'd put it out there. Um, manifested into my life. Since the Suzuki's out of commission, the other Suzuki's also out of commission currently. And the RAVs, the RAVs days are waning. I don't know if any companies are watching, but if anyone wants to send me like an ATV, not a quad bike, slug, slug would not like a quad bike, would you slug? But one of those ATVs where the windshield shuts and the do it's got doors. <laughs> and air conditioning <laughs> and heating <laughs> similar to a car but comfortable uh, please let me know I'm willing to make content I can make six slug car content look here's a preview no you, you moved See, this is her looking out of the windshield in my ATV that I can lift up if I want to. Get a bit of breeze happening. Yeah? Just picture the dream, all right? Just, just picture the dream. Oh. There we go. It paid to wait. Got it out no problem with the second one coming. We'll leave her to it. As I said, I never like to jump the gun. Oh, it also needs to have four by four. I know it doesn't look like it, but we do have rain here sometimes. And when it rains, it pours and we get stuck places. So four by four would be great. These lambs went yesterday, so that's good. We've only, I think, got a hundred fat lambs left from last year. I'm just looking for the ewe with the prolapse harness in here to make sure she's okay. I haven't past her yet so I'd say she hasn't lambed yet. Oh there she is. Still holding on. Aren't you? You're absolute pain to catch but you're still holding on. I just saw a bag. It looks like she is quite close to lambing so I'm going to catch her, catch the spoon to the wool so it's more likely to pop off when she goes to lamb and well that's if we can catch her ideally we can i caught her i had to run and catch her and then i couldn't like we were a fair bit away from the car so you didn't get to see but i'll show you so what i've done is i've loosened off one side and just attached it to the wool so it's just got one string of the harness through it's not no longer tied on and it's just attached to the wool so when she starts pushing it should immediately just let go and um, she should be able to get that lamb out. When I was watching the footage back from that one over the weekend, I saw that I might have tied just a little bit too much. There's a fine line between too much and not enough. However, now she's close. There was mucus there. She was starting to get discharge. So she she's going to lamb very soon. So Here is the crossbreds that were having problems. Uh, they're almost finished lambing now, not many left at all. So all the lambs on the ground now should really make it to, um, well, to wait really you want. We're up the back now going through the ewes and lambs up here. Prime lines and then some crossbreds have helped themselves to the area, which is lovely. I see a fox is in the paddock. There's two foxes in the paddock. They're all kind of standing up or so. 
long enough they were fighting the foxes or what? Typo is patting herself on the tripod. She's just now trying to act like she wasn't. What are they doing? worked out that you's not gonna fucking let him. Got this ewe lamb down here. Um, I picked her up at the top of the hill, brought her down to the mob and she still doesn't look, she still doesn't have a, the mum, no one seems to be taking her. And she's quite skinny. Drive around, but I'd say, like she, she's very old to have been dumped. She is a bit slower, so I do wonder if that's the reason why she's been left. I think we'll have to work off that theory. I think she's gonna have to come with us. It is a crossbred, so it tracks that she's been dumped. She was down over here. Um, the mob's all the way over there, so there's a couple sheep over here. I'll see what their vibe is, but I think they're prime line. She's older, we might be able to put her straight onto the milk machine, so that would be ideal. I don't think I've got any coats big enough for her left, so she's gonna be nude. She'll be a nudist like slug. We got here, yeah, they're problems. <sighs> All right, next problem. Got out of the car and wondered why my leg was wet. Thought, did I piss myself and not notice? But no, no, the lamb pissed itself when it was on my lap, so that's lovely. Thanks, love. I appreciate that. You can see the little black lammies. See if I can get a better view. It's gonna be too far away. Can you see the black blobs? There's really nothing interesting happening here, which is good. Uh, not interesting means everything's good. It means I don't have to open the door and let the cold air into the car. I opened the gate and I saw something moving in the bushes. Right out. There's also a heap out here. Here comes the assault on the fence. Please don't wreck the fence. There we go. Down to the Marinos. Started to land last week. I think they're, they're not really going too heavily or aggressive. I wonder if a sneaky ram just might have gone in. In saying that, geez, she's big. I just opened Instagram and got this comment. <laughs> Let's do a fighting the comments. Jeez, maybe slow down the feed cart. It sounds like an easy fix. But that wasn't enough. They left a second comment. And I am really seriously biting my tongue on this one. Fuck, why didn't we think of that? Shit. Oh, maybe because that doesn't fucking work. Fair warning, I get pretty fucking heated and I've trimmed out... <laughs> a lot of my witching. This was on Instagram. Go follow me on Instagram and read these comments. I get some bangers there. Fuck me. This is the problem when people get so disassociated with animals. They just think they know and they fucking don't. And you just, you just don't. God. So, seriously, I'm biting my tongue. When we're feeding sheep, if we we slow down to feed them, yeah? So they run over, they're trained to do that. Shocking, I know. Um, so if you're slowing down, they're only gonna, they're gonna run from all the way over there. You're creating a bigger fucking problem, mate. Maybe you should bite your tongue because you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. The example, I'll put it up on screen. The example in the video that I've given is me driving past a paddock and the sheep running up. You can't help stupid. So wrapping this up, thanks for coming to my TED talk. Worked out why the mum's left her. So she has a slightly interned eyelid. So what we're gonna do is just pull it back out and then hold it there. And then normally that fixes it. 
and it doesn't roll back. Sometimes it can. Looks like it might be fixed. So this ULAM here is joint tail. What I'm trying to show here is see the knees are slightly swollen, bent a little bit forward. Uh, it's just bacteria that causes an arthritis in them. You just give them antibiotics and they come We good. are landmarking this afternoon. Schlag. Slug's favourite time of the year. She gets to get beaten up by lambs. I'll give you a tour of the equipment, I suppose. We have a lacerators. What we do with these is ring a lacerators tail. If you're a boy. Good time. Then we've got the rattle for the ones that haven't lambed. We need to set up the needle. I'll do that in a sec. Then we need to get the new ear tag stuff out. Uh, so I can't show our ear tags because it's got our pick number on it and our surname. But I can give you a general idea. So here is the new tag gun they've sent. So this is Shearwell's new tag gun. I haven't, we haven't used this one yet. So we're going on a learning journey together. It does come with instructions and multiple extra barrels. Then we've got our tags. So these are the tags. We're using Shearwell tags this year. Oh, I can't show you what they look like because they're being done on the side. I'll put, an, I'll put an example up. This is what they look like. They, they come in a strip all together and they just join with that bit of plastic on the top. And then you just kind of peel them off, shove them in and go for gold. So you've got the ones with the V's on it. I'll probably put a picture. I think that's a better idea. These in packs of hundreds or what? We're doing prime line use. We do need the V's. V's mean they have been vaccinated with the Guardian. Good air. That's what that means. Last one we need is the fat lamb ear tag. So they've sent us uh, one, two, three applicators. So this is just your handhold snippy snippy. Here are the regular tags. I'll put a picture up so you know what I'm talking about. Same thing, just doesn't have a V on it. Has the MLA logo, our surname, the animal's number, and our pick number. Chuck these in the box and set up the needle. Here we have the five-in-one needle. Uh, we do a five-in-one. Some farmers do a six-in-one. Comes in a big box of ten, and each one of these are meant to do so two mil. This is gonna do 250 lambs. We're gonna need two of them. So what this one does, this is called Tazvax. Uh, it's a subcutaneous injection, so stab it under the skin. So how we set this up is syringe line thing that comes in every, every box has one of these in there. Get your string, you put your string through there. I'm gonna need something sharp to put through there. We'll get there. We'll set the needle so I first. I did that last year in that. To make your syringe, you twist your cap off, get your needle. Uh, for the five in one, we use a 18 by half inch needle. I'm not sure if you can see it. Stick down. Where's my cap? Typo, did you steal my cap? Cap back on, pointy end up. The needle's got a thing on the end, it goes all the way up and then through. Probably make more sense to do this without without having the pointy end on. However, I enjoy the risk. Then you get this end pointy into the blubber, bladder thing. Squish, on, done. And if I squeeze it, it'll go down. There we go. Don't need the box. Are you pleased? Earth double table. Sitting in the sun. Like the little slug she is. I don't know what, what, it, what she's doing with her foot, but last time I checked, she still does have four legs. It's the other dog without an eye. Truck's being washed. If you can hear water in the background, we're not near a beautiful waterfall. It's just a waterfall of land of sheep shit. Here is the Gadea vaccine. Here it is here. This vaccinates for OJD. That's wasting disease if you want to look that up. This is a one mil injection. We give it to the girls only because the boys don't live long enough to get OJD. It's kind of like a, they start getting it if they're going to get it after two. To put it quite frankly, fat lambs don't make it to two. So they don't get that one. It's also you've got to come under stress to be able to trigger it. It's a whole thing. You're just going to stand there and be cold or what? Right, we'll try and load this 
um, tagger so someone's got an idea of how to use it before we get there. She climbed into the wall. We can experience this together. Um, fold the first tag and insert it in the start position. Can we go up or down? Hang on, what? Is that correct? Yeah, good, great. Big bit out the back. Yep, right, okay. I was wondering why there were so many of them, but now I understand it's so you're not standing here doing this out in the paddock. You can do this while you watch the telly at night. So I used half the pack and we've got 100 tags loaded. So they're 200 tags a pack, these ones. Um, here's all my little... Here's all my little cutoffs. Put one of these onto the tagger and see how that goes. So here's all our things. And here's our tag, no. Here's the tagger. Now to load it in. Oh, it's not that easy. Hmm? Holy shit. Oh, they banger. Oh, the loading takes a little while, but sh that's, that's quick. Slug, isn't that good? Apparently there's a U in here somewhere, or around, that, that came in with the fat lambs that went yesterday. Apparently she went through the fence. Shocked I'm not. Is she up there, slug? Oh, there you are. Come on. Back to your paddock. No, typo. Thank you. Good girl. She's... Half in crack mode because she saw dad's dogs getting loaded onto his ute. So she knows it's go time. Typo! Typo! <whistles> Typo, go behind. Now wait! Typo, stop! You did that because you kept walking. Wait, Typo! Typo, wait! Good, good. Good, good. Off she goes. She go here go? No, she stopped going. Slug! Oops. Topper. Good. Yes, give her enough of a scare to run all the way home. Oh, she's through the gate. And back she goes to her paddock. Fantastic. We are. They're just setting up the yards now. I'm just about to send the drone up, so... We'll get you some cool footage, hopefully. Just gotta make sure everything's come up in this paddock. And uh, we're about to connect, maybe? Thinking about it? There we go, excellent. There's a nice pile of shit. What we've done is all the ewes have gone straight back out. We're only keeping the lambs in. The ewes don't need to be drenched, so we're not drenching them. So we're just marking the lambs and then that'll be it. Today we're marking the prime line lambs. They're about a month old at this point, so they will have no issue finding mum again. First, they're put into the cradle. You can either do a slippery dip type one or this type that you lock their legs in, it spins around. We have used both types and do prefer this one currently. Then I tag the lamb with either a V or a fat lamb tag, depending if it's a boy, cull you, or a girl. An example of a cull you is a you that's got a dirty bum. This indicates you might have a poor digestive system, or maybe they've got interned eyelids and you don't want to breed stock from that because it's genetic and you're going to end up with more lambs with more problems. Yeah, I don't know if I want it. I don't want it. <laughs> This year we switched to Shearwell ear tags. Yes, they did send me a heat wave, but these are genuinely the best tags we have. Dad, who is incredibly hard to impress and still uses the same brand of soap he used 20 years ago, said this. <laughs> 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 
The turbo tagger was good, very easy to reload and tag the lambs with. I also noticed the lambs didn't seem to react as much to these tags as other brands. Then they have their five in one get rings put on. I somehow managed to not get it in the shot. I blame Slug. Schlag. And then they're released back into the wild. So they're all done. Uh, the lambs are all marked. Hello, little D. Hello, little We're just heading up to check on these prime lines at the end of the lane again. Uh, see what they're doing, see if any are turtled, more importantly. We'll have a quick zip around, won't we, Slug? She likes to ignore me. Just having a quick look. Everything looks fine. There's just a club of lambs hanging out. Mum will be around somewhere. That could even be her there. Thanks for watching. Like or slug will feed you to the lambs. Oh, this is my chicken pen that Liam's building me. Isn't he nice? Hello, it's a different day. But right now we're out with the lammies. We need to take their jammies off. Still, I need to tie my shoelace. I still haven't dealt with this yet. Um, it's, in, it's in process, all right? It'll get done. So what we're going to do is take the dirty coats off and they need to have it be washed. Come here, children. It's time for a change. My little boy. Yeah, I know. Life's hard when you're you. Yeah, I know. It's going to be really chilly. I feel sad for you. There you go. Oh, if anyone wants to make more coats, big ones. I need, I need large ones. I've got lots of small ones. It's meant to warm up today, so today's the best day to do this. There you go. He's a big boy. <laughs> He's getting very big. Oh, I'll show you the heat wave while we're here. So Shearwell sent this to me, disclaimer, but we've got two nipples. We've got the white nipples on. These ones here are the black nipples. These are very hard. They're too hard for lambs this size. So we've got the white nipples. These are like for sensitive teeth. So they connect in with a little pipe and then the pipes Go in there, go into this. This keeps them warm. And how it keeps it warm is these little, this, this is warm water. It's very nice in there. Would be nice for a swim. And that water warms the milk in there and the milk comes out and warm gives them warmth. Then the milk all lives in there, as you can see. And they're drinking about 13 litres a day between the 10 of them. So... Milk's expensive. We need a sponsor. <laughs> oh, you're cold, darling. I will go get you another coat. I have I have a few coats that'll fit you. Get that out of your mouth. Take that out of your mouth, dude. You can go back on the nipple in a minute. Just let me take your clothes off. Hang on. Hang on. Whoops. There. Head and other leg. There we go. You two. Come here. There we go. Now, she, this one here, she's got um, joint ill. See how her knees are swollen? She's also walking a bit funny. She's being treated for that now. It's an antibiotic. Yes, you're going to be very chilly. But she's getting better, which is fantastic. Sometimes they don't, but I got onto it really early. See how their knees are a little bit bent and wonky? I'm sorry, I'm filming you piss. <laughs> but we'll chuck these in the wash and get them back on. Yeah, I know. You're going to be so chilly. See how she's a little bit sore in the legs? Off they go. Here's my merch. Um, I bought a heap of cups, so they're coming from Australia this time. So they send them in the box. It's designed so you ship them in the box. However, there's two different designs. Design one. Design two. However, they all look the same, so... Which one are you going to get? Don't know what I'm doing about that. That's kind of a problem. I'm kicking down the road. Cold Diesel sent me this book. I had a look through. It is very interesting about, like, some of the breeds in here. They're very... Some of them look very different to what they are today. Don't know what that is. An Exmoor Horn Shearling Ram. Never heard of it. Come here, Slug. Slug, you have a gift. Type it, come back. Cooper, this is not everything's about you, mate. Slug. Oh, it's like rubber. Oh, Slug. Oh, it's even got little sheep on it. 
Oh, slug! The seat getting dirty because Typo sits on it. Yeah, you're a dirty girl, aren't you? Typo, you have been made a throne. They've got straps. Oh, I love that. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cordy. I appreciate that. Dad is... I can't tell you how much Dad is going to appreciate this. We tie it to the little sheepies, and then it ties to the seat, and then your dirty, stanky-ass feet don't wreck the seat. Oh, Dad's going to be thrilled. <laughs>